but my favourite flashiest animal was found by chance among some coconuts. In one of these coconut husks is one of the world's most beautiful frogs. Are you ready for this? Look in there. This is not set up, by the way. It looks like it's been so, but it's not. Now, these are called tomato frogs for a very, very good reason. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> One of a frog or toad's major defences is to swell up. <laughs> so, once you swell them up, he won't come out the hole. In the manual for naturalists, there's no advice on how to extract a frog from a coconut. <laughs> got a tomato frog's leg. I just got to get two tomato frog's legs. OK, ready? Out comes one of the best-named frogs on Earth. Look at that beauty. It really does look just like a tomato with four legs and eyes. But it would be a fool who attempted to make a salad out of him, because all that red coloration is for a very good reason. It is poisonous. And some humans, I'm hoping I'm not one of them, actually develop allergic reactions to these frogs. Now, as I was saying, the tomato frog's main predators are snakes. So its first trick is to blow itself up, which is why I had such a job extracting it from the coconut. Then it produces sticky white fluid. You can just about see some of it on the, on the top of the frog's body there. Not a lot, but that, if I was to put it in my mouth, would taste vile. And to a snake, not only would it taste disgusting, but it would also gum up the snake's mouth and uh, make an even more of an unpleasant catch. You can see very easily why it is called a tomato frog. It is rather beautiful. And I have to say, this with all honesty, is one of the flashiest creatures I've seen here in Madagascar.